Our next speaker is Stephanie Reeves. <laughs> Stephanie is a senior lobbyist at the American Psychological Association. She's also a DELP scholar and a CAE, so lots of accolades to her name, yes. She serves on the board of the Washington Government Relations Group, and while she has quite a rap sheet inside the association community, her true calling really is to be a professional dancer. Wow. All right, you're up, Stephanie. <laughs> Great. So, my presentation. <laughs> so, what can Prince teach us about association management? Yeah, I know, exactly. But uh, he has some really great lessons for us that I think we can all take advantage of. The first is innovation. And I mean, if you think about the way he sold his music over the last few years, it's really been an interesting journey in terms of you know, taking, you know, taking risk and whether we're successful or not, going out there and doing something different with the work that we do. I'm sure there's no one in this room right now that's not doing something that could be more creative. Crystal Ball is considered the first release by a major label artist, Prince, uh, to be sold on his website. Now, unfortunately, it didn't work out so well because if you ordered it through his website, you got yours much later than everybody else. <laughs> However, it was that type of vision that, Brucey, that earned him the Lifetime Achievement Award at the 2006 Webbies. And so even when you fail, you can also get an award for it. <laughs> Musicology was his 2004 release, and during his tour that same year, he gave away copies of the CD as part of the ticket. It accounted for 25% of the total sales, which was about 2 million copies. Planet Earth was another release, and it was available worldwide, but the first release was in a newspaper in the UK. You had to open your newspaper and getting a CD for free. So when you think about innovation, it is about the rewards and it's about the risks that are involved with it and not to be afraid of it. The second point is about being a good association leader. A good association leader surrounds himself with great people. And when we're talking about Prince, we're talking about, of course, his band. When you're talking, you know, whether you're talking about the revolution or the new power generation, <laughs> Prince always likes to talk about being a, you know, real musicians making real music. And he let, you know, while he may have had some real control a lot about his music early on, he has over the past few years kind of taken a lot of that control off and has let his musicians truly shine. So when we're thinking about our staff, when we're thinking about the people internally who we're working with, are we giving them the opportunity to be creative in their profession, in their lives and what they're doing? as um, your staff or the people you're working with. And it's that type of energy that Prince really kind of puts into his music and the people he surrounds himself with. But it's also about being a good mentor. <laughs> Beyonce <laughs> considers Prince a mentor of hers. Uh, she says at one point she loves to just sit around and talk to him because he knows so much about music and the industry. As Professionals who are coming to us to be, you know, mentors. Are we being good mentors to those of us who are younger or maybe new to the profession? And if not, why are we not doing that? Why are we not taking advantage of those opportunities to really share the knowledge base that we have as association professionals? And I mean, we really, I mean, if you think about the people we're working with and the people in this community, I mean, look around you. Look at all these great people around you in this room right now. Somebody's got to, you know, you've got to be a mentor to somebody. But you can't be a good mentor unless you're also going to be a good mentee. Stevie Wonder is Prince's mentor. I mean, you can't get better than that, but we all can't get Stevie Wonder. So <laughs> look around this room right now again, as also, you know, there are a lot of great mentors here. And please take advantage of the networking at this conference and in this room. And of course, no good Prince presentation would be without a slide of his girlfriends. <laughs> now, their musical, um, now, their musical input may be a bit you know, challenging, they may not be the best, but you can't <coughs> deny the influence that he's had over their careers and lives. The last point is about the member experience. And you know, we're talking about the people who are your members and you know, love them, you hate them. It's all about giving them a really good experience as association staff. During his current, core, the, uh, during tour, uh, current tour, I should say, the Welcome to America tour, 85% of the tickets for this tour is $25. Seriously, that's less than what it costs for me to fill my car up. I mean, <laughs> what kind of experience are we giving our members as a big bang for their buck? I included the slide because this is after a show. He just 
gets on a bike and starts roaming around the arena. What kind of memorable experiences are we giving our members at our association conferences or even when we're you know, talking to them on the phone or answering an email? And of course, being a good Prince fan, you may also end up on stage with the man. And again, we're talking about experience. We're talking about making members say about your association, I love being a member. I want to volunteer. I want to pay dues. So the next time you're at your desk and you're really <laughs> and you're really struggling with an issue, ask yourself this question: What would Prince do? <laughs>